I don't know how you get through that. It's one of the worst things a parent can hear. Tonight, the condolences are pouring in for Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb after the death of his son and granddaughter. 22-year-old Cooper Lamb and his one-year-old daughter were killed in a crash in Gilbert just 24 hours ago. Cooper's fiance tonight still in the hospital recovering from life-threatening injuries. Mark Lamb, seen here with his granddaughter, was elected sheriff of Pinal County back in 2017. Tonight, his office giving us these pictures of his family as they ask for the community's support during their time of mourning. Team 12's Joe Dana live for us tonight in Gilbert near Elliott and Wrecker Roads where that crash happened. And Joe, what are we learning about possible charges against the other driver involved in this case? Police still not saying what charges they are recommending. The site of this crash is also the site of big crowds tonight as people are packing into a nearby neighborhood to see Christmas lights. When police made that arrest earlier in the day yesterday, they did say they believed the driver was impaired. Festivities tempered with condolences. My stomach hasn't unclenched since I heard the news. At this political conference in downtown Phoenix this weekend. Oh, 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 we're oh, oh. wishing it's them all mic. the best still on? and the strength to get through this thing. Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb, a national figure, has many here grieving with him. This is a time where we need to have strength. Lamb and his wife Janelle mourning the death of their 22-year-old son Cooper and his infant daughter. Cooper's fiance at last report was still in critical condition. Police say Cooper's fiance was behind the wheel making a left-hand turn on Elliott Road late Friday afternoon when the family sedan was broadsided by this truck. It's just devastating. Jason I mean, Vaught was inside his house when he heard the crash. Oh my God. Video from his porch shows his family seconds later out to see what happened. In a matter of like minutes, there was probably about 15 people all surrounding the car. Um, got the baby out, tried to get the people out. Cooper and the couple's daughter were pronounced dead on scene. Online, Governor Doug Ducey writing, may their loved ones rest in peace. Governor-elect Katie Hobbs saying, sending thoughts, love and prayers. Saturday night, stuffed animals were left at the base of the tree where the car came to rest after the crash. A reminder of the youngest life lost. And that neighbor you heard from earlier said he believes this spot near Cole and Elliott is especially accident prone. He hopes the city will take notice and look at possibly putting a stoplight here. Joe Dana, 12 News. Yeah.